Hello it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson we're just going to finish up a few things. So first things first you've probably noticed I fixed the transparency issue with the rain and I did this quite simply by opening the texture in paint I came to select all and uh, once I'd selected all I right clicked invert color and I'll just close that and then I changed the shader to particles addictive and that has fixed all the transparency problems yes it still needs tweaking but I'm sure you're all capable of doing that for yourself and I'll do it off camera and we have also need to uh, do a few more little things so I've already opened the script now as I said the fog density was far too strong but I did it for testing purposes now throughout this series you've seen the fog working so I've gone ahead and set the fog density to 0.0 zero one F and I'm going to leave it at that value now that's normally the default value and if we come to window lighting and we scroll down to fog as you can see the fogs disabled here but if I hit play as you can see the fog is now enabled so the everything's still working but I've just set the fog dis uh, density to be much lower. So let's come back to the script now. And we've pretty much finished this script. But there's one more thing I want to do. If we come up to the top here, the reset timer for when we have the switch weather timer running here and once we hit zero we switch the state to pick weather and we make the switch weather ti timer equal the reset timer I actually want this number to be random to give a uh, a more random feel to how the weather changes so we can do that quite simply and we'll just get rid of all the number and the equal sign so we just have now public float underscore reset timer and we've closed the line off so let's come to the comments and we'll uh, alter the comments and I'll leave the first one defines the first word and we'll say defines variable for reset timer and now we need to give this a value again so I'm going to come all the way down to the void switch weather timer and I'm going to come here in between where we switch the state to pick weather and we make the switch weather timer timer equal the reset time and it must come before this line here and all we need to say is underscore reset timer is now going to be equals and it's going to be equal to a random dot range open and close brackets will close the line off we'll come inside and for testing purposes I'm going to make mine a value between 20 and we'll make it a float and 30 so 20f comma space 30f and we'll put it into the comments so we'll say reset weather is equal to A random range and we'll just say between the two values 
and we'll save that off there. And I've just said two values rather than saying the actual numbers themselves because obviously these numbers will need changing. We don't want weather changing after 20 or 30 seconds but again for testing we can use it to see if it works. So let's just downsize that. We'll come to the directional light. And as you can see I've gone ahead and assigned audio clips for all my weather states now. I must admit it was a bit of a problem trying to find public domain clips but I eventually managed to. Um, I've had to use three different types of wind sound just because they were the only weather effects that I was able to find that I could really use. And as I always say, I'm sure you're all aware why I use public domain clips for the purposes of you YouTube. But um, please, in your projects, go ahead and find whatever audio clips suit your project. So let's let's uh, bring the console up. We'll just clear it off so we have no errors, and we'll hit play. So we're, we've gone into overcast and hopefully you can hear the audio, the clouds moving. You should be able to see the fog but this time at a yeah, far greater distance and less density. And if I just bring the mouse pointer here, our reset timer is reset. It went from 23 to 27. Okay, we're coming into the sunny state. We have a few uh, very sparse sun clouds moving. Again, these all take a fair of tweaking, all these weather uh, particle systems, and obviously all my values here in the script. But to you, you guys can go ahead and experiment what's best for your project. I'm sure you'll all want different values or such like. And as you can see, we've reset to 24 this time. If I just bring the switch weather timer down and now we've got a random of 21 oh and great we can see the rain and as you can see the particle system is now transparent again more tweaking is required the ambient light's gone down the sky boxes are changing i'll probably want to adjust the ambient light still because as you can see it's far far too dark but um it's good so you, that you guys can see it in the video. We are changing to the snow. Again, the snowflakes are too big. I'll go ahead and tweak that. And this time when we switched, we got a value of 28. So you can make that random range. In fact, I'll stop that there. And hopefully you could hear all the different audio effects playing as well. If I come back to the script, you can set that value to be uh, any value you, you want. You, so, obviously, you're going to want a much higher value than I've set here. But the difference between these two numbers can also be as wide or as small as you want. So, we're basically finishing the series here. Um, if there's anything that you want me to come back to and add to this script, I am more than happy to do further videos based on your requests. Please either message me or leave a comment and I'll be quite happy to come back to this series and update the script. Especially if there's updates to Unity that breaks the script, I'll continue doing update videos should there be any problems like that anyway but as i said if you want other features added i'm more than happy to do that but i think we'll leave this series here for now everything's working yes the particle systems and the values need tweaking but as i said there's no point in me doing it in these videos because you are all going to want to do your particle systems differently. You're all going to need different values 
in this script because all your games are going to be different anyway so even if I went through and set what I would consider um, a good value for whatever game I was creating it might not suit your project so uh, hopefully you can understand that um, but like I said um, any problems um, let me know and anything you want me to come back to and a quick announcement um, for all of you that have followed along with this series I do have another series planned which is going to start very soon so I hope you all will stay tuned for that obviously my other current series will continue as well and I have plenty more series planned for the future so please stay tuned and there will be lots more coming on this channel so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed this series and I hope to see you all again and as always bye for now